this. Let's go. That's gonna bring them all down on me. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Yeah, a Nero injector. Let's see if it still works. Another micro core. One of these is gonna explain what the hell you guys are doing out here.
blasts. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Gotta take a closer look. I need these. Man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper. It, it just buzzed right over me. It acted like I wasn't even there. Well, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, D. Be careful. Don't get too close, to old. You know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Rock. Okay. 
Take that out to distract them. Seems like it's always right there. They see me. I'm dead. Zero, zero, zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at... Hey Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. Is that us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor, planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking go Don't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. But there's that I like bases. No, no, and I asked if you were going in. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sick. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like it was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn.
Boozer, you there? Booze me, come back. The Nero guy, the soldier who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. You wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Death. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... There we go. I know that, but I heard... Okay, look, I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you... you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deek, don't... I'm not, Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep another Nero beacon. Inside the cave. Here it is. It looks like it's been here for a while. A Nero injector. Just what the doctor ordered. Ooh. Oh. That'll do it. Field note 701. This is our second expedition into the high desert grotto cave system. Designated site 15. Following up on Dr. Black's research, we have confirmed the death of a large colony of Euderma maculatum. Spotted bats. Estimated size of the colony to be three to 4,000. Subject specimens, in addition to the expected symptoms of striated musculature, varicose veins, and loss of fur, show multiple claw and teeth marks, broken wing membranes, neck and limbs, consistent with the same late-stage aggressive behavior seen in other animal groups. Off the record, Whatever the hell this infection is, it made an entire colony of bats tear itself to pieces. I'm sure glad I wasn't there for that. Marking samples for the lab. I sure hope Dr. Black is wrong about this thing. Let's use this. Yeah, I hope they're wrong about that too, but I'm guessing not.
back later, finish burning out these nests. Off the tank. Just burning out this infestation zone.
Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Oh, here we go. That should be it. on the road. Damn it. Oh shit, not now. Nothing. That asshole, I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today.
Let him in. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. What do you need? Get back to work. Hey, get your ass back to work. Hey there. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. Or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> I can't Jesus. <laughs> Keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. 
hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You, get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Why don't you just show me what you got, because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. All right, I see how it is. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna give this to. Hey, get your ass back to work. Hey, back to work. Hey, no, 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 don't. I'm getting to work. Oh, God damn it. Stop. Don't. Hey, I'll be back. I'll look around. Can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alkai. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. <laughs> 